Today's video is kind of special for multiple reasons. I'm hitting 500 stars or Sapphire Prestige. This will be my 100th video. And I recently hit 2000 subscribers, which I'm going to properly address here. With all these things happening, I thought it would be a good idea to also include the 2000 subscriber giveaway. More on that later in the video. Four months ago, I uploaded these videos where I hit 400 stars. A lot went wrong with the rendering of those videos, so let's do the right way this time. No 25 FPS videos. The background footage was from a few games I recorded before the Sapphire Prestige game. I was planning to talk here, but I was kind of focused on the game since I wanted to keep the win streak we had built up over the last couple of days. Spoiler alert, we kept it. 100 videos. It's been quite a journey, from my first subscribers to my first video hitting 100,000 views. Today it's almost 3 years since I uploaded my first video, and I'm still working with much joy on new videos. Only now the videos are actually good. First of all, I want to thank all of my 2000 subscribers, even though not everyone is going to see this. As a thank you, I want to do a giveaway. I'll be giving away two ranks, VIP or MVP++, so people with MVP+, can also join. I'll tell you how to enter after my prestige game. Here is my prestige game and a few games I played before that. If you liked the video so far, consider subscribing since my whole channel is based around videos like these. I saw that Red only had two guys, so I wanted to make a fireball jump on top of the base, but that didn't go quite as well. Luckily, the first Red guy thought I was no threat and walked to the diamonds, leaving me alone with one Red player. He never saw me do a fireball jump, so I had the element of surprise. The bat was gone and now it was time to take them out. The first red guy we encountered walked back to me. After I killed him I thought we were done, but apparently the guy I hit off the defense never fell in the void. I found him and we won. A small tease because I had to wait for Mega, he jumped in and placed the TNT. I wanted to jump in here but it gave me a small lag back. This guy walked out so nicely I could hit him into the void. I didn't mean to take that one. Green was now gone and blue was our next target. I saw a blue guy running on the bridge so I wanted to kill him with a fireball. I hit him and he fell in the void. I thought Mega would finish this guy but when I saw he went to blue I went after this guy. He panicked and fell into the void. With one fireball left and knowing their bad defense was only one layer of wool, I jumped in because it would be way faster than TNT. I knocked that guy into oblivion and the other guy walked straight into my hands. And Red was just cleaning since it wasn't my team so to speak, I decided to give one to QXVP. And there we go. This game was going to be our last game before the Sapphire Prestige game, but this game didn't go as smoothly as the other ones. Since they hadn't found the guy yet, I decided to search the top layers and luckily I found him pulling up through the window in the back. Together with QXVP, we were able to break the yellow bed and get them as final kills. Now it's time for the big game. I'll be playing with Mega Disaster, QXVP and this guy. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. I was planning to talk here so I had the microphone on. Even though I didn't talk, I recorded my keyboard and mouse sounds and I thought it was a good idea to keep them in. We were doing the famous instrat in Fort Bed Wars. My job was to rush left so I started to bridge. Yellow was slow bridging to me and had no idea I was waiting for him. That made it an easy kill. Without the trouble of that player, I could safely walk to their bed just before they were able to put Ensign on it. And 
that was yellow. The right team was doing quite good too. With all the gold and iron from yellow, I could stack up and start to attack green. This last yellow guy thought he was clever by hiding, but nothing is more true. I don't think he saw me coming, making it quite an easy kill, and when I killed him, I built up so I could finish the bridge. I finished the bridge that Mega started to get on the roof of their base. After I got on their base, I built a small platform for, AT for TNT so I could predict where it would land. I dropped the TNT, but surprise surprise, they had glass, so I couldn't do anything with it. Knowing how their defense was made up, everybody knew what to do. Green was definitely better than yellow, but not swellingly good. So this was going to be pretty easy and I could keep my win streak. This guy was pretty annoying since he didn't take that much knockback, but I was able to hit him and knock him into the void. This is going to be our last march towards green. Four of us against four of them. All of them were here and the last guy of our team came running from blue to start a distraction. After Mega got to bed, the cleaning began. There were a few kill steals, but that didn't matter since we were close to the win. And there we go. After four months of grinding, I am now finally a Sapphire Prestige. My favorite prestige. Everybody that thinks that this is the worst prestige can fight me in the comments. I made a screenshot and then we went to the lobby so we could look at the 500 stars. Personally, I think the 500 star color looks way better above your head compared to the 400 star color. And a nice addition to 500 stars was that I kept the win streak. It may not be the biggest, but it was still very nice to keep it. 500 stars and my aqua pluses look quite nice in the chat. I got some GG's and we made a screenshot for the memories and the forum post. Ruby Prestige is also a nice prestige, but I'm not expecting to hit that in at least 4-5 to five months, but who knows. I'm also close to hitting 20,000 final kills. I hope I could hit 500 stars and 20k kills together, but I was a bit short on finals. Now for the people that have been waiting for the giveaway. To enter the giveaway it's pretty easy. Like, subscribe and comment something nice with your IGN. I'll announce the winner in a month or so. Till the next one.